I got a quick question. I've got someone going through your Harry Potter posters and was asking how much would you do for the stack? Good morning, everybody. Good morning. It is Saturday. Is it Saturday? It is Saturday. It's Saturday morning in some garage sales. It's a little gloomy. I'm not going to lie. Got some rain last yeah. night. We Pulled needed it off. though. We did need the rain. You yeah. know you're old when you are looking forward to the rain. Yeah. <laughs> Bring our flowers back to life. <laughs> I don't want to water my plants anymore. But they don't care about that. What do they care about? They garage care about garage sales. sales. Yeah. And this is like one of the few times that I'm actually getting to go. Um, the kids are at Nana's. Thank you, Nana. Yep. You're the real MVP. You're the real MVP. Today the garage sales are scattered. They're very scattered. There's not a lot of them. I'm kind of surprised because last weekend was July 4th. So usually the weekend after a big holiday, a lot of neighborhoods are like, oh yeah, we'll do it that weekend yeah. after. Or something. Now's or the time. We're going to be trying to uh, do more of this where I get to go out garage sailing with John. Yeah, it's more fun when you come along. Yeah. So if you guys approve of that, let us know because you might be seeing more of me. It's a little scary. It's a little scary. <laughs> So let me down easy if that's not what you guys want. If you don't like Whitney in the videos, just keep it to yourself. <laughs> You asking eighty dollars for the tote or everything? Every single thing there. Everything there is eighty bucks. Okay, I'll take them. Okay. What all do you have? Um, this so far. Okay. What's okay. the damage? Um, it was eight for these and ninety-four altogether. Ninety-four. I'm gonna try to math right in my head again. Yeah, it's too early for math. <laughs> I know. Dogs were weren't even awake until they heard you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Ninety four. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck with the sale. Thanks. I appreciate you guys stopping. Ooh. For Halloween, yeah. Year. He's not into Ninja Turtles yet, but we could get him in Ninja Turtles. Yeah, he might not. He might not be into it. Check out this box. I love it. Actually, Isn't that nice? Okay, so that's our friend's oh. case. Oh, okay. Pottery barn case. Yeah. And then the magic stuff separate inside, but she said she's not here right now, but if you like the case thing, I can tell you more about that. She's, okay. Um, I think she had the case at like 10. Okay. So, just a, I think this stuff just falling with oh, And her daughter you. was super into <laughs> Harry Potter, so. Gotcha. Is the Harry Potter stuff like all one price or different uh, prices? It looks like it's individual. There's a few things. I think they're like the poster. Right, sell, turn over the poster. I think she's got they're a dollar. Dollar. Okay, posters are like a dollar each. I'm sure if you got a bunch, I could kind of. She just one, trusted me. Mom, to, this one's signed. Is it? Oh, well, there you go. I don't know. These are, I have no idea when it comes to Justice dropped it yesterday. And, well, clearly they're a Hufflepuff. I can tell that. Yes, she did have some cool umbrellas yesterday, and those kind of went. Um, this is actually like a cool two. box for Harry Potter. I it's a very it, cool box. Yeah. I didn't even realize like how cool those all kind of go together. Yeah. Are you guys big fans? She is. I yeah. am. Okay. Yeah. And my sister is. She does a lot of like Ooh. Harry Potter parties. She's got usually a dollar for one. That. But I bet I could. She'll pick up this morning. Hey, I got a quick question. I've got someone going through your Harry Potter posters, and was asking how much would you do for the stack of all. Okay, I mean like ten bucks for the whole stack. Okay, would that work for you? Sure. Okay, yeah. Let's do it. yeah. And you said ten on the wood case. If I, if someone asks, or is it less? Okay, so ten, 10 is for the case. Okay, gotcha. 
Okay. Yeah, You're I'll just, welcome. I'll leave them for now. We'll okay, back bye. You want that too or no? Um, no. Okay, okay she said that. she'd do whatever you, you can have all of them, like every single yeah, one for 10. I'll do, yeah, we'll Are you wanting we'll the case too? I would say so, it's pretty Okay, crazy. sure. I so think we have you a 20? That would be, she would love it. Yep, yeah. she's, cool. she is grateful that she's like oh good i'm glad there's some harry potter fans <laughs> oh, there yeah. can i just tell you this is the cutest like i forgot how small iphones were and we have a set wait six year old oh my gosh i think that's a um how much are you asking for your printer um i would i would say maybe 10 10 bucks yeah the the cartridges are like we just got a new the reason we did it was because cartridges were so expensive. Yeah. Like we were having to pay seventy five dollars for oh gosh. The, the, so those cartridges are like seventy dollars. Would you do twenty? Would you do twenty for the phone and the printer? Yes. Okay. Let's do that. Oh gosh. Okay. Well, if we decide that she doesn't want it, we can find another family. My member. kids used it as a um, an iPod. They would just yeah hook it up to the wi-fi because we can download games used, and stuff too like yeah they used it as like a yeah i'm sure we can do a reward things. chart for her yeah for sure for we... it's 20 and 20 21 how much is this four so 45 dollars. 45 okay all right, so Stella. That was my son's change. graduation cap and gown this oh. past. I, he was like, go. what do I do with this, Mom? I don't want it. Awesome. Thanks right, so much. Thank yeah. Good yeah. luck with the sale. I don't, I don't... Yes, you do. Look at that. What can you read? Like this, this right here, what's that say? Oh, man. Too many yes! Pieces. It says, The Book of Eli. Let's see. I think I'm ready to settle up with you. Okay. Um, are the books five or seven? I saw the price. Uh, on the five. Five. Okay. Yeah. So I owe you twenty-five for these okay. and two for that's twenty-seven. Are you in paramedic school? No, I'm actually oh. a reseller. Yeah. I oh, you are. I, oh, I was gonna yeah. say there's a study guide that. Oh, is there? Me. Yeah. <laughs> twenty-seven. There you go. Thank you. Great. Thank you. All right, guys. We are back. When you found a bunch of stuff? I found some stuff. Um, so I got a couple of jeans um, for the kids. Uh, name brand, super good. Got this travel set because I'm tired of buying little travel things. So this is a way to save money and be, what is that, like green? Be green? How much was it? Oh, $2. $2. That's cheap. Um, I got two pairs of Hollister jeans for I think $3 a piece. With the tags? With what, yeah, one with tags. Wow. So, um, got those. This negotiated $5. It's one of those things when you're at a garage sale and you're like, do I need it? No, but for the right price. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't pay 10, but like for five, yeah. New in the box? New in the box. Awesome. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I don't know the brand, but we'll see. And then this, you gotta show them. Beautiful box from Beautiful box. Pier One Imports, they said something i, I don't even know one. um we got some rain on it um i don't know what we're gonna do with this put things in it we're gonna put things in it. <laughs> that's what i do with the boxes i think that's a good idea that's yeah. a good idea okay so um really really cool box but it's in the box we'll take this stuff out for now so uh this is some ink that john bought but it's full of all of these um harry potter posters and a couple of them are signed yeah so we saw signatures on here and at first i thought it might be like a stamp signature uh like a facsimile uh, but it is definitely not so if you look at these two um the p or the first letter or whatever is a little bit different so that tells you yeah. it's um genuine and then when you look at the um streaking there's a tiny bit of streaking in there so it is a real signature uh uniform or stamped um 
signatures will be the same throughout. There'll be no streaking. So somebody sign this, I don't know who, it may or may not add value to it, but we'll do some research and try to figure out what it is. If anybody's watching this knows uh, yeah, what this signature know. is, leave a comment. Like we'd love to figure it out. Yeah, and then just like random kind of, a lot of them are kind of stuck together, so that'll be um, a little bit of a problem, but my sister always is doing Harry Potter parties, so I thought it would be a good addition. Um, and a lot of these are just really cool looking, so. For the price, um, it was 10 bucks for all of them. Ooh, bucks. this one's signed too. Oh. K Cartwell? Well, and this one, yeah, so we'll have to take. Interesting. We'll have to, yeah, and they were definitely a Hufflepuff. There was a lot of Hufflepuff stuff. I think some of this might have been like one of those monthly subscription boxes. Oh, that makes sense. Like the Geek Gear is what's kind of sticking yeah, out to look me. At, I mean, some of these are just so cool. Um, so, oh, this is a. A Griff crossover, yeah. Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts. Um, so yeah, some are better than others. Oh, those are some creepy faces. Ooh. <laughs> they look like elves. It's, that's so creepy. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Um, here's another uh, Fantastic Beasts one. Yeah, so I, yeah, I'm gonna go through them. I think my sister will like quite a few. I love the proclamations, educational decrees. Those are a lot of fun. Also picked up this for my sister um, and her boys. Uh, we got this cap and gown, don't ask why, but um, we got a cap and gown. We did not pay $15 for this, but this is the cutest little iPhone. And we couldn't decide if we would let Darcy have this. She's six years old. It's too young to have a phone. They, are, they already have tablets and- Yep. So she doesn't need this. So we kind of decided after the fact that we won't give it to her. But yeah, it's just, it's so tiny. It's its like so kid size, it's perfect. Which one is it? Like the seven maybe? She said it was the seven. That looks smaller than a seven. So we might hold on to it. I mean, it's, it's clean, it's yeah. wiped. We've always got kids popping yeah. in and out that stay with us with fostering. So to have an extra iPhone handy would not be the worst thing yeah, at all. and have like emergency numbers. We yeah. do have a prepaid phone. Um, we have a prepaid phone that we can, you know, save all of our numbers, have it kind of be the house phone, the emergency phone. Um, but this one we can use with Verizon. So I don't know, we'll figure it out, but. $10, hard to go wrong. Yeah, we'll see. All right guys, I am back at the shop. It is now Monday morning, just now getting around to filming the end of this, but I pulled out everything that I found at the uh, garage sales and I'm gonna show you what I bought. First sale of the day, I got a big stack of these horror movies. They're all from uh, eight films to die for. And it says 21 movies all together. There's 16 different DVD cases. I paid $8 for these and I saw a lot, well, a lot of different lots on eBay that did pretty good. Um, seems like roughly lots of 10 go for around 40 bucks. Um, since I have 16, I might try to squeeze out 50 bucks for them. Uh, so for $8, I think that's a pretty good buy. Also got a ton of trading cards. I don't think any of these are sports cards. A bunch of trading cards. Lots of Pokemon. This binder is really cool. Uh, this is from the late 90s. Kind of got like a Game Boy look to it. Lots of cards in here. I honestly do not know a single thing about Pokemon. But a friend of mine is really into Pokemon. So I can send him some photos. See if he's interested in them. I paid a pretty good amount of money for all these. So I got this binder i got this box of cards and this one down here i paid 80 dollars for everything which is a lot of money to pay for you know a bunch of trading cards but there might be something of value in here i really don't know that bag is all dragon ball z sun and moon pokemon there's even more pokemon in here there's Yu-Gi-Oh. Another big bag of Yu-Gi-Oh, looks like there's even more Pokemon. There's there's a lot in here for sure. Down here, there's a lot more. I did see a big thing of Magic the Gathering cards in here somewhere. I'm just not sure where they are now. A lot of this is just gonna be garbage. You know, Beanie Baby Club cards, definitely uh, no value there. A little bit of random sports, junk wax stuff, nothing too special. I think the Magic cards, or at least some of the Magic cards might be down here. See, that's more Yu-Gi-Oh. I did see a big thing of Magic cards. I know some of those can have a little bit of value. There's just so many cards here that I think I can maybe make a little bit of a profit and hopefully get a good education uh, in the process, kind of learn a little bit more about Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, and Magic because that's something I don't know much about. 
I got a printer at one sale and I really don't like messing with printers, but they had two things of sealed ink, uh, 902 XL. These are genuine uh, OEM HP. And you can see that one um, just expired like six months ago, 2022, January, but that's really not too bad. And then the other one is 2023. And I think what these dates mean is that the warranty expired. It doesn't mean the ink's bad, just the warranty expires. So you can usually sell ink if that date is only maybe a year old sometimes two years but once it gets pretty old you know five six seven years that ink's likely going to dry up these should be okay i paid ten dollars total for the printer and the two things of ink and these go for right around 20 25 dollars each so i think there's a decent profit on these printers like this you know kind of like the at home all-in-one printers generally are not a good buy to flip on ebay because they're heavy, bulky, it's going to take a big box to ship it, and a lot of times the cost of shipping is going to be equal to or greater than the value of the printer itself. I saw a few sold listings on these around $40, $50. Um, those listings had cheap shipping, so I'm thinking that the seller just didn't calculate the shipping right, or maybe the buyer was really close, something like that. Um, I did see a few people that parted them out, like took this part out and just sold it separately for like 30 or 40 bucks, so... I might try to part it out and just sell a few pieces and uh, make a little bit more profit on it. Last thing I found is a set of five Brady Paramedic Care books. These are textbooks and they're not in great shape to be perfectly honest. I saw a lot of like writing and highlighting which definitely will hurt the value. Something I'll have to point out when I'm making the listings. Like yeah, here's a lot of underlining and stars and writing on here. That'll definitely hurt the value. I only saw one completed a listing on these. Somebody had the same five and they had them listed for like $230 and it showed that they took a best offer. Who knows what that offer could have been. It could have been 50 bucks. I really don't know. I paid 25 for all five of them. If I can get 60, 70 bucks, I'll be pretty happy. What I'll probably do with these is maybe list them at like 150 or best offer. And if I'm not getting any offers, just kind of lower them over time. But yeah, textbooks can uh, definitely make some good money. So if you come across some, just Look them up. That is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.